Welcome. Um, so, all right. so in this case, ladies and gentlemen, what I have is tangent squared of negative x minus sine of negative x divided by sine of x equals secant of x. Um, now, when we're looking at the even and odd identities, which is you know, very helpful in this problem when we, we see that we have these uh, negative inputs, um, I'm going to want to break this down. Instead of the squareds, I'm going to want to break up tangent into tangent of negative x times tangent of negative x. And that's going to help me apply the even and odd identities a little bit better without kind of making any mistakes. Because tangent, as well as sine, are odd functions. Therefore, the tangent of negative x is now equal to a negative tangent of x times a negative tangent of x. And then that's going to be minus. Sine is also a negative. So it's going to be sine of x divided by sine of x. All right. Well, you can see a negative tangent of x times a negative tangent of x is now going to be a positive tangent squared of x. And a minus a negative sine over sine, well, that's going to become 1, but the minus is subtract out, so there'll be plus 1. Now, remember, by going through our um, odd identities, or I'm sorry, our Pythagorean identities, the tangent squared plus 1 does equal secant. So we can just write our identity as secant squared equals secant squared. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you verify that identity. Thanks.